welcome to my channel. Uh, today I will talk about how to start mining by using this miner from eBite or eBank. So basically, this miner is a T10 miner. This is a 12 terahash per second miner. It's an old miner, but it's still useful. It is still profitable, especially if you have a very cheap or free electricity. So basically, setting up this miner is just the same or similar with any other miners that you could find in the market. This ASIC miner is a miner that is using around 1450 watt depending on your load or your system it's around 1450 to 1550 so here there are three ASIC miner from eBank three T10 miner and I would like to show you how to set them up until they are running in full capacity mining your Bitcoin so at first you know this miner will come with a PSU ensure your PSU is either uh, from Ant-Man or, so, or any OEM a trusted OEM as this miner are using around 1.5 kilowatt of electricity your PSU should be able to juice out at least 1600 or more it's better to have higher powered PSU in order for you to have some headroom for your PSU to be able your PSU to be able to breathe so setting up the, the miner the ASIC miner is not hard you just have to connect your 6 pin power from PSU usually PSU like this this is a bitmain PSU it's a APW3++ model 1600 watt PSU this PSU comes with 10 cables of 6 pin power supply so basically you just had to connect all the 6 pin together there are four hash board here hashes board or whatever you call it each board consumes or needs two pin six two six pin power so each board is basically a three you could say three tera hash per second board because this is this model is 12 tera, tera hash per second and each board uh, is a three tera hash board so multiply it with four you can you will get 12 so after you connect your power supply uh, ensure your main cable your power supply cable uh, capacity is enough I mean it is enough to run continuously the power cable is rigid enough to run continuously with 1.5 kilowatt power so basically most miner would prefer 1.5 mm uh, square of 3 core powered cable as 1.5 mm square could basically theoretically handle up to 10 amps or more so ensure your power cables is in good quality do not chip up on your power cables the same with your PSU after that just ensure you have very good LAN cables and a LAN powered internet. You had to get a router in order to set up this miner. I have a simple router over here. This router is from TP-Link. This router have its own SIM card slot. So you don't have to deal with like another a provider a wired provider if your house do not have one so basically your router must be able to be connected at least uh, or must be connected with your uh, PC or your laptop this is to ensure 
you could do the setting inside the miner before you start mining i will show to you how to start mining or how to set up the miner software afterwards so let's see how it turns out when we turn on the power supply let's turn it out turn it on one by one you can't hear my voice afterwards guarantee So it seems that all the miner are ready to mine. Let's set it up. So going to their own website, eBank. The website is miner.ebank.com.cn. Here you can you can find the support area where the support is all about either instruction, tools, firmware, user manual or any another support so at this area you should go to the management tool so the manage tool here you just grab the recent one there are two around here another one the, the other one is especially for e9 plus ours is t10 so basically we go for the general management tools for minor download this link download the software and afterwards you extract it after you extracted everything you will be ready for mining so i have downloaded the software so in here you can you could see there are some uh, names which started in chinese so just open it up and i will tell you uh, in general what does it needs before we could even start mining so basically here they provide two links these links are very important first one is the from win winpickup.org this one just copy and paste it to your web browser afterwards there is a an instruction on how to install their software after you install winpcap next one you will install the .NET framework 4.0 ensure both of these were installed inside your PC or laptop or desktop before you start your mining afterwards you can start using this exe application where you can start setting up your miner before you mine your bitcoin so here you can see there are three things to select first select the land use in this land use you must have your land cable your internet cable from your router connected to your pc from me, for me, I've already set it up, so I don't have the LAN. I already set it up, everything. But to give you an I, you an idea, here there should be the list of your miner. So after you have the list of miner around here, you go, you select all of your miner, either one, two, or three or more. And then go to DHCP management, enable DHCP. And yes, you have to configure static IP. This is for you to know what is the IP of your miners or your router. 
you must have them before you go for the next process. Well, afterwards, after you have your IP and also DHCP enabled, open it back. Open the software back. The second soft, the second time you open it, go for the cross gateway use. So here is the second one where you don't need exactly need your LAN cables in order to perform this task. So this task is basically uh, for you to uh, set it up, set up your miner, put your bet bit. Bitcoin addresses, select your pool or anything else that's related for mining. So go for network segment import. Afterwards, you will be prompted with an IP. So whatever IP you could get from your previous uh, step, you put it here. In my case, it's 80 sorry 80 and start wait one so ipn usually because i already know my number of mine is not even uh close to 10 pieces so there is only three there and it start with number two three and four so I basically just put five here just need them to list five maximum select okay all your minor IP will be listed here. So my minor started from 2, 3 and 4. I already know it. Just select refresh all. It will automatically refresh itself. Well, I forgot to connect the Wi-Fi and my router from my router. So I just connected it back. Let's see if my PC could get my miner online or not okay so this is my miner number two three and four so everything works fine from here uh, you could say you are halfway from mining next you get the addresses uh, from your mining pool any address that's related to your mining you put it in mine configuration so just put everything here your minor name password if needed unselect this and select ok after everything set up in this software copy this your IP addresses paste it to your web browser there you could get to know your the status of your miner online just like what I've done here so from here this is the interface for the miner so you just put admin and another one is admin language goes for English and login so here's the status for my miner number two the number two do have problem actually uh, hash board one of the hash board, board the third one is broken so three tera hash was removed from my miner this miner is supposed to go for 12,000 uh, I mean sorry 12 tera hash but it only could go up to 9,000 so calibration here cal means calibrations the, sorry sorry not calibration but calculated speed is too low so this is your calculated speed it's okay we can show I can show it to you my other perfectly normal minor so here is the number four minor so this is a perfect running minor it's running at 12 tera hash or 12,000 giga hash per second or whatever units are you using and it's running on temperature uh, of 68 degrees Celsius just cross check with every alarm that you have temperature alarm calculated alarm server internet board one two three everything seems fine and for tips 
on those who are having their e-bite minor restarting and restarting you might want to change some of these values in the system configuration in my case uh, I had to change some this limit temperature is supposed to be around 70 if I'm not mistaken I put it on 77 because here in my place the ambient temperature is quite high it will get up to 32 degrees Celsius or more depending on weather of the day so well that's all from me I have shared my knowledge on how to set up an e-bike miner or from e-bank so if you guys have any questions or suggestion maybe I'm not the one who really have the experience to tell you guys about mining because I'm just I just started my ASIC mining month ago so basically you can just comment or you put you could email me from my email I can provide to you and please like and subscribe my channel my videos yeah, I will really uh, appreciate your subscribes and also everything input every input that you give to me thank you and bye bye we'll see you again